zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, uh, today I'm filming this video I'm from Miami Beach. I hope you can hear me over the waves. On our last video, we talked about how to grow our income without getting any more customers because again, there's so many of you that are so busy that you couldn't even handle any more customers even if you wanted to. And so our job as business owners is to provide more value than any of our competitors. If we don't develop our skills and if we don't get better, how can we expect our business to get better? Now you were not born knowing how to walk, talk, or even how to drive a car, were you? These are all skills that you learned them when you needed them. So since finances impact so many different areas of our life, isn't it time to get this part of your life handled? For instance, the number one reason for divorce is money problems. And the number two reason for divorce is neglect due to overworking. And so what happens, somebody has money problems, so they decide to work more hours, which fixes the money problem, but then it just creates another problem, because like I said, the number two reason for divorce is neglect due to overworking. And according to WebMD, which shows that stress from financial issues causes heart disease, heart attacks, obesity, and just a host of other problems. And then a 2008 issue of Men's Health Magazine shows that if you're in the top 10% of income earners, which is about $100,000 a year, you will outlive the bottom 90% by an average of 12 years. So as you can see here, this is much, much more than just about the money. It, uh, like you can see here, it impacts so many different areas of your life. Well, anytime that we start to develop a new habit, whether it's improving our business, starting a business, going on a fitness program, anything like that, the research shows that the average person will quit within their first 22 days where only about 10% of people continue beyond after that. I have a business partner, you may have heard me talk about him in some of our previous videos, his name is Al Nen. And what he does is he consults with billionaires and he works with them and coaches them and helps them to become self-motivated. Now if billionaires need self-motivation, what does that say about you and I? Now one of the reasons that we procrastinate in anything is because so many times that we forgot why it is that we wanted to pursue some certain goal or accomplish some certain task. In the Bible at Joshua 1.8 it says, read the book of the law in an undertone day and night in order to make your way successful and then you will act wisely. So again it says, read the book of the law day and night. So at one point in my business, I was just immersing myself in just business education, sales education, management, uh, customer experience. I was just engulfing myself in as much information on that subject as I possibly could. One of the latest things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to eat what is called as a pure raw diet, um, uh, uh, real food. Uh, basically, if, if God didn't create it, you don't eat it. It's a very strict and tough diet to adhere to. And one of the ways that I keep myself motivated is I listen to information about all the junk that's in our food, what it really does to our body, and that's really what helps me to stay motivated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the suggestion, these videos are usually anywhere from about five to 10 minutes long, so what I'm gonna uh, suggest you to do is spend some time each and every day going through these videos. Now again, of course you could uh, you know, spend the, the hundreds or even the thousands of dollars by going through other business consultant videos and courses and stuff like that, but these ones are free. And the reason that we do that is to give back to the business community. Again, this is not just about selling you a product, but making a difference. Many of you who are watching this video are parents, and maybe even if you're not a parent, I, I'm not a parent as yet, but I had parents. And uh, sometimes I felt that, you know, I knew more than my parents, and maybe your kids feel that they know more than you, and when they do that, doesn't it just irritate you? One of my favorite actors is Will Smith. It's just kind of funny that I'm here today in Miami Beach. He has a song called Miami. Ooh, Uchi Wawa down in Miami or something like that. I can't remember how it goes at the moment. Now, a couple of years ago, Will Smith was speak speaking at the Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Awards. And one of the things that he said, it was truly profound. You can also find this video if you look on YouTube under running and reading. But one of the things that he said is there have been millions upon millions and gazillions and gazillions of people who have lived before us. And there is no new problem that you can have that somebody has not written down the solution in a book. So if you're having problems with your kids, if you're having marriage problems, if you're having business problems, if you're having financial problems, uh, at one point or another, somebody also went through the same things and they've written down the solution for us to learn from. Like for instance, the 2008 Great Recession. You know, I was still working at that $400 million a year marketing firm at the time and so uh, my clients spent a lot of money to figure out how to be able to, to adapt to the, the business environment at the time. So I found a guy by the name of W. Clement Stone. 
Well, W. Clement Stone made 122 life insurance policies per day, earning him a million dollars a year during the Great Depression. So I took what I learned from W. Clement Stone, I took those principles, and I used it to be able to help my clients no matter what type of industry that they were in. Now, as we all know, most businesses fail, right? And so many people just focus on the ones that fail, not on the ones that are successful. Now, throughout the years, you spend a portion of your tax dollars to help the U.S. government finance billions. Now, if you are one of those individuals who do go through different business programs and business courses, things of that sort, um, I want to congratulate you, number one. But one of the problems of that so many times is uh, what, what those business consultants will teach is what worked for them. And what worked for them may not work for everybody else because they have certain skills, certain talents, uh, their personality traits might be different than yours. So what we're going to do here is we're going to share the results of $1.5 billion in research of not what helps certain individuals to become successful, but what helped the vast majority of businesses, vast majority of people and businesses to become successful in what they do. So I want to encourage you to keep your eye open. Of, I want to encourage you to keep your eye open on your email because over the next several days or so, what we're going to do is we're going to send you a series of videos of 1.5 billion dollars in research of what all the world's most successful people have in common. Keep your eye open for that. But I had a blast filming this video for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it beneficial. But take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.